Well, welcome back. It's time for us to return to the faculty lounge, which will mean it's a new day, everyone. It'll be exam day. Uh, hello, Michael. Uh, should I start my final preparations for the exams? And your patrols. Reen looked over the exams for tomorrow and saw the students off campus. After one final check to make sure everything was locked up, he prepared to head back to the dorm. The lovely sound of the rain. Where'd that come from? Looks like it's only sprinkling, but still. I'm glad I brought this umbrella. Well, the students are gone now, so maybe I'll... Oh no! I didn't think it was raining this hard! It's a light sprinkle. And that's... Toa. Oh, Rain! Was it your turn to lock up today? <laughs> Thanks for taking care of things. No problem. Here, uh, do you need an umbrella? We can share mine. It, it's okay. It's not raining that hard. Y you just said it was. Either we share the umbrella or I hand it over to you. Whichever you'd prefer. Th that's not fair. You're not giving me much of a choice. Fine. You win. We'll share the umbrella. Just don't get your shoulder wet from trying to give me more cover, okay? <laughs> no worries. After all, you're so tan- My! I wonder what you were about to say. Nah, you being tiny is adorable. Ah, <sighs> you used to be so much more straightforward and innocent. And now you're giving me impossible choices like this. You've grown up, but in a bad way. <laughs> Sorry. But knowing you, you gave your umbrella to a student in need. And then lied to them about having a spare so they wouldn't feel guilty. W were you watching? No, I just knew you wouldn't forget to bring an umbrella. It started raining so suddenly, it's an easy situation to imagine. Jeez. Banned from making weirdly accurate guesses like that too. I mean, you're still only 20. There we go. You could stand to be a little more innocent. Even though we're colleagues, don't forget I'm still a year older than you. That can't be a coincidence. Just the 20 years ago is very significant then. It definitely involves Reen in some regard. Keep an eye on that. <laughs> Got it. But I think going through all that changed me a bit. Nothing, sorry. Let's head back. Or did you need to stop by somewhere first? N no, I'm fine going straight home. So, the political economics exam is with Vice Principal Heinrich from the main campus. Yes, his expertise was a big help in making the exam. You're in charge of history and combat skills, right? Yeah, I work with Instructor Beatrix. I'm one of the new instructors at the main campus. Seemed like they were just as manically busy as we are. Suppose it's no wonder after Principal Van Dyck and Instructor Thomas both left. Instructor Makarov and Instructor Mary are still there and giving their all. Aww. But this really brings me back. Two years ago, Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart were there giving exams too. Yeah. Seems like just yesterday. Feels like all the recent government policies are really putting a focus on the military. Nevertheless, it's reassuring to know our old instructors are still at it, doing everything they can. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I'm going to have to work hard to catch up to them. By the way, Angie and George are both back in Erebonia now. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, they're both in Rura right now. 
Yes, I believe so. But they must both be busy. I can't get in touch with either of them. Uh, thinking about those two makes me a little jealous. It's clear how much they mean to each other. <laughs> huh? Well, sure, but... Nothing could ever break their friendship up. George isn't really Angelica's, uh... Type, right? Then again, considering the way they look dancing together by the bonfire after the school festival. Oh, well, they've known each other a real long time. So maybe I'm just reading too much into it. But still, can't help but feel like their relationship is a little different from just two friends. <laughs> yeah, you could say that again. The difference in their social classes might be a problem to some, but if something did happen between them, I'd be the first to congratulate them. I think Crow would have felt the same way. Yeah. He'd probably congratulate them. And then tease them relentlessly. <laughs> he would do that. Reen, you know you don't need to worry about your family or that mass person all on your own, right? There she is again, Toe just cutting right to the problems. You have a need to talk. You've got not only the old Class 7 instructor Sarah, but the members of the new Class 7 as well. And of course, I'm always willing to lend you an ear too. Toa. Do you happen to know about my father? See, this is why I, I keep pushing that idea of like, Toa is like the perfect person for Reen. Is because canon wise, in terms of like outside the bonding events, you have moments like these with Toa. Where she's just there trying to support him. I've mentioned it so many times before, it's like, but that's the reason why. Because she's such a such a supportive person. Like she really, 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 really cares. And he does open up to her. Again, outside of the bonding. If we included all the bonding, I'd probably have a different opinion, but it's... We can't include the bonding, because... You have to pick and choose, so it's a problem. Yeah, a little bit. I didn't hear it from Class 7 or Sarah or anything like that. But judging by Major Claire's behaviour, I can make a guess. I see. Oh. Looks like it cleared up. You can see the stars shining so clearly now. Yeah, maybe the clouds all got blown away? <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. Reminds me of when we went shopping together as students. Wow, feels like ages ago now. That's when you helped me figure out what to do for the school festival. And then I showed you the video of our concert from the year before. Oh my. Oh wait, let's just forget about that. Well, I doubt I'll ever be able to forget the sight of you in that outfit. <laughs> Rain, you're such a meanie. Put jokes aside. Can we talk more sometime? I'd like to tell you some things. Things like my father, but what happened at the Infernal Castle, and what happened after you graduated. I want you to know the whole story from start to finish. Of course! I'd love that. Aww. Again, that's not a bonding event. Feels like one, but it's not. That's again, that's why, that's why I say Toa is the right choice. The name of the game, everyone. Again, they could have done so much more, though, without the bonding events. As I spoke of in Cold Steel 2, I think? At first day of midterms, new day, everyone. The next day saw the start of the four-day-long exams for both Thor's main campus and its branch campus. First period, history. <laughs> Caution! Has anybody seen Caution? We've been looking for Caution for days. In the events leading up to the War of the Lions in 947, which prince declared himself the next emperor following the assassination of Crown Prince Manfred? Oh, we 
learned this from Instructor Reen just a few days ago. Err, it was Orthros. <laughs> this is the right answer for sure. Second period, physics. Still looking for caution. Which of the following statements about the effect of gyroscopic spin on bullets is true? <laughs> it's just as Instructor Reen taught us. Um, a bullet spinning clockwise, use right. <laughs> Easy. It's a new day, everyone. Midterms day two. First period, military studies. Bum, 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 bum. Still, still not found caution. Choose the most efficient way of moving a squad during a siege battle. This is just like the practice Schwarza had us do. <laughs> what a riot. On engaging, attack from behind. Obviously it's this one. Bum bum bum. It's a new day everyone. It turns day three. Dim dim dim. The spirit political economics. What's the term for profit generated via selling stocks and bonds? Mr. Kareem went over this with us yesterday. Capital gain. Well, that was easy. Second period, art. Hmm. This part of the exam will be a listening test. Give a name to this song based on what you hear. Hmm. I dare you hurt me like this, game. Just as Instructor Reen said, this part is... interesting. Give this song a name. It already has a name. Look to the sky. That's what popped into my head. So did that fin final scene. Well, guess I'll just go with it. How long does this go on for? That's my question. It's a new day, everyone. Final day of midterms. All I'm thinking is Sky 3rd now. First period, combat skills. Has anybody seriously seen caution? Lost in the rain. During a disaster, ensuring a source of clean water is imperative. Which of these is the great order to create a water filter? Left is the lowest layer. I learned this from Mr. Reen not that long ago. Hmm, I'm not feeling all that confident. I should be able to narrow down the answers. <laughs> Cannot afford to get this wrong. Hmm, what a pain in the ass. Um, yes, cloth, charcoal, sand, pebbles. Alright, I got this one for sure. <laughs> well, surprised I remembered that. Oh, pretty sure that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Instructor Reen. <laughs> got it. Thus, the week of exams came to a close without incident. While some students felt an ease at the thought of their scores, most reveled in the sense of freedom that can only come after exams are over. By the principal's decree, a special class was held that afternoon to allow the students to relax and celebrate the end of their exams. <laughs> Not a bad view. Don't forget, we are still in the middle of class. Instructor Reen, please help me work on my swimming form. Muse? Hey! 
Why are you trying to drag him into the changing room? Interestingly, though, it's like the Strega on the um, swimming costumes here. That's the R again. Because it's not like Strega R, like the shoes. What's the What's the R mean? Like, why, why is it Strega R? Forty Arch. This time for sure. <laughs> what a nice little pool party. <laughs> Agreed. Everyone sure is lively. <laughs> I'm sure they need to unwind after how hard they all worked. However, if we're calling this a class, there should be some semblance of structure to it. Or perhaps a competition. One we can only hold here. I've some ice cold drinks available for any parched throats out there. With the festival post exam mood in the air, Reen and Class 7 had deepened their bonds with the other classes. Eventually, Aurelia arranged for a competition between Reen, Randy, and Michael. As the competition reached its fiercest point, the special class came to an end. It's the name of the game, everyone. Be nice if it still had a bit of rain. Be a nice atmosphere during the night. Exams and then swimming. I'm mentally and physically exhausted. However, you seem to have enjoyed yourself. We saw an incredible matchup, so I'd say it was a successful lesson. Oh, my. Tch. How did I end up here, too? Jeez, we're in the same class, so at least try to pretend you like to hang out with us sometimes. Tita, Yuna, this cheesecake you two made is simply divine. It goes well with Mr. Celestin's iced coffee, too. Reed, it's incredible. I dare say you could open up a shop. Oh, you think? It really isn't that hard to make. It's cool and light. Perfect for the hot summer weather. Tomorrow's a free day. But then next weekend, we've got field exercises. We heard Panzer Soldat's training on Wednesday. Seems like they usually tell us where the field exercises are on Soldat training day. But if we're shipping out next weekend, it's going to be real short notice this time. With the exams screwed with the schedule. That's right. We need more time to prepare. Perhaps I'm making things more difficult for us, since we've gotten used to the pace. Still, only two days to prepare is a bit too difficult. I suppose we've got no choice but to wait until Wednesday to find out. And that will also be the day we'll find out our exam results. Oh, don't remind me. I made so many mistakes. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to seeing the rankings. The exams are over and done with. No sense fretting over them now. Well, look at you, Mr. Honor Student. Of course you wouldn't be worried. Aren't you just as confident about your results, Ash? Yeah, I'm just gonna go full throttle tomorrow so I don't think about my score. Now oh, wait. You gotta keep training too, huh? Yes, though it will depend on the professor. But I would definitely like to participate. Need to keep my senses honed. Agreed. The naval fortress proved very effective for that. <laughs> that makes it even more regrettable. That we were unable to join the instructor's team. Um, well, uh, I know we're nowhere near their level, but... Hmm. Everyone. Ah, right. Speaking of the keep... There was something I wanted to ask all of you in Class 7. <laughs> Phew, great job, everyone. Their answers are written so well, I can tell they really understood everything. <laughs> I don't want to start sounding like Instructor Thomas, but as an instructor, it seems this couldn't make me happier. Tomorrow's a free day. 
and we got briefing at 3 p.m. Had to address the short amount of prep time we're being given. It would make sense if the location was. No, don't jump to conclusions. Wow, this is really good. Yuna and Tita really outdid themselves with this no-bake cheesecake, they called it. It's half past eight. I've made some good progress with my grading. Maybe I should go out and cool off a bit. A lovely armband. Right, so... We don't really need to do Vantage Masters anymore, do we? There is a green star down below, so let's get that green star. It's the bath. I've got some time now, so maybe I'll wash up a bit. Wash up. Seems like most of the students feel pretty good about their exams. Though we won't know the results till early next week. Ah, this feels great. But sitting here just makes me realize all the mistakes I made on my exams. I was used to score well at the police academy. My voice. Ayuna. Hey, Struct Rain? Are you listening to me the whole time, you creeper? And there's the mandatory Yuna reaction. Sorry about that. It's not your fault the bats are built like this. I was the one who was talking out loud. Oh, I think you're doing a good job here, Yuna. You've been studying and training from the moment you got here. And I've seen you steadily improve in all your subjects. I understand why Randy and Major Claire think so highly of you. And I'm right there with them, of course. Oh, this guy for real? I think I've got a better idea of the kind of guy you are now. I know the struggles Elisa and Lisa must go through. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's your usual reaction. Had all these expectations about the legendary hero of Erebonia. You turn out to be like... This. Better or worse. And if people knew this is what the Ashen Chevalier was really like... No, you'd probably just get even more popular. I'm, uh, not really sure what you're talking about, but thanks for the food earlier. A no-baked cheesecake, was it? It was really delicious. Oh, that... <laughs> the teacher and I worked together on that. There was actually something else I wanted to make. The cheesecake was just practice. Oh. What was it you wanted to make? <laughs> That's a secret. Yeah, that felt so good. Oh yeah, Mr. Celestin put some sodas in the fridge for us. I'm gonna go get one, do you want one? Yeah, sounds good. I'll help myself to one later. The soda is Ramoon, huh? These are from way in the east. How does Celestin even get these? <laughs> I know, right? How does he indeed? The relaxing bath restored 100 of Reen's CP and Yuna's CP. Obtained a bottle of Ramoon. There we go. What I wanted. Right, let's head on out. Got nothing else in here, have we? Nope. Good. We should have some things at the shops. You can see it's been raining because it's like a shiny floor. Does it always shine like this? I can't remember now. I'm assuming it's the rain. Let's get that. Definitely got that. Now let's go down the shop list. Should we get oh, look, a lovely meal with you guys. Get that. Anything to buy here? Just that usual stuff. Right, okay. The imports. Oh, hello, Randy. I think Randy's is that brandy that we had previously. 
I said I'd need it in the future. I think that was what I need now. I can't, I can't read it. This is the rules. I mean, that's just gonna be fun. That's just gonna be funny. Of course, we'll have it on for a little bit. Just a little bit. Looks like we're definitely a Falcon protagonist now. That sort of deal. Look at the Mishis there. Mishishishish. We did the books, cafe. No. Yeah. Expected every shop to have something else. Like anything. But no. Yep, Cerberus is in charge of the shop. Good boy. Anything to sell us, Cerberus? It seems like you have. Anything in the exchange? We will have that. Did I even need that? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just use some of those items we just got then. Where are they? Event ones, aren't they? Do -do -do -do. Isn't this one of those new orbital juices? I, I can't accept this. God, it looks strange. I'd really like it if you would. This is to show my gratitude for all your hard work. I know how to cook, and so I'm sure we get good use out of it. Hmm, well, if you insist. Alright, I'll make you a smoothie next time, then, instructor. So close. Are these cufflinks? Yeah, they're pretty intricately designed, don't you think? They have these subtle accents that shine beautifully when the light hits them just right. I thought they'd look good on you, so please take them. Thank you, I really do like them. I was thinking of others. Surprised you notice how I prefer subtler fashions. <laughs> As your instructor, it's my job to notice things like that. Yeah. Is this a picture book? I've seen this title before. Yeah, it's popular among kids and adults alike. Even just looking at the pictures is fun. It has a lot of animal characters, and one of them is named Black Rabbit. Black Rabbit, I see. Feel as though I might relate to it. Now that my interest is piqued, I'll be sure to examine its contents. <laughs> she seems to be happy about it, I'm glad. Yay! Oh, huh. Bet this'll do my hair some good. Anyway. Why don't you give me this out of the blue? Ash, I know about all the hard work you do when no one's looking. Just do me a favor and accept it as a thank you. Man, everything you say is so damn annoying. Oh well, I'll use it at least, so thanks. Cute. Wow, it's so pretty. Isn't this an eastern charm for fending off evil? Yeah, I'm surprised you know that. That and the knot symbolizes bonds and solidarity. Let's see, as a colleague and dear friend, I want to thank you for everything. <laughs> Likewise. Thanks for giving me such a great gift, Reen. There we go. I should send Selene a gift. Hmm. I hope she'll like it. There we go. Like, no, no dialogue from this, okay. Right, back to the um, inn. I was going to say the pub. No, that's not where I need. Where, where was he? I just expect Randy to be in the pub. That's the issue. Damn, I knew they wouldn't have it. Randy, are you looking for something? Yeah, I've been looking for some rum that's made in Ordis, the port city. I should have looked for it when we were in Ordis, but... I'm so busy the whole time, I didn't have time to. Yeah, we definitely didn't have any free time. So you like rum? I promised a friend I'd have a bottle of it. I haven't been able to find the kind I'm looking for. I see. I bought a bottle of rum recently. I think it was made in Ordis, the port city. Give Randy the rum. Is this the bottle you were looking for? It's called Marion's Rum. Marion's Rum? It's exactly what I was looking for. How did you get this? <laughs> I guess I got lucky. You can have it, Randy. You know I can't just accept this for free. Well, you got drinks for me in the past. So how about you pay the next time we go out for drinks and we'll call it even? 
<laughs> Alright, you've got a deal. Jeez, you can be really amazing sometimes. Well then, have my most gracious thanks, Mr. Schwarzer. But seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of this. <laughs> You're welcome. Where's the rum gone? Lovely. <clears throat> Is he now over there? Where did he go? Probably back to get stinking drunk at the dorms. Right, so we'll end this part here now anyway. In the next part, we'll go back to the dorms. Ta-ta for now.